What's up guys, Beyonce and Seabree with another video. So on today's video, I am bringing you a reveal. I'm talking about the Liz exclusive collection from Chanel and I'm talking about Coromandel. Coromandel is one of the most famous Liz exclusive perfumes uh, from Chanel and this perfume is just like simply amazing. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of the notes on this fragrance but the most interesting note in this fragrance for me it's the white chocolate note even if I hadn't told you you would probably pick it up because it's quite prominent it's not the main note but it's like almost there every time you get a sniff of it it's just simply amazing in my point of view there's two notes that are quite prominent in this fragrance the first one for me is the white chocolate note and the second one is the patchouli note. It's a clean patchouli, it's not a heavy patchouli. Like most of the time patchouli can smell a little bit too strong depending on how you blend it. But this one, I wouldn't say it's a airy scent, but it's a scent that it will be with you for a long time. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in the performance rating in the end. If you like a slightly sweet take on a fragrance with something a little bit different because it's not every day that you can find a white chocolate note in a perfume. So Coromandel is one of your best picks. I don't, I actually don't know any other fragrance that has a white chocolate note, like specially blended with patchouli, but this one is truly amazing. For occasions that you can wear this one, I would say summer nights, fall, spring. I don't actually think you can wear this one during winter because it's not gonna like stand out. Probably you already have a thicker and denser fragrance. This one it's quite airy as I mentioned. It's always there but it's kind of airy so you're gonna get some like whoa some super nice sniffs of it, like in the air, this fragrance smells just amazing. For me, this one is unisex. Men and women can wear that one like whenever they want. Some people may say it's a little bit more feminine. I don't actually agree. If you like patchouli, if you like slightly sweet, go for Coromandel. This one, it's a little bit more classy at the same time that it's slightly sweet, so it's okay to wear in like formal occasions as well. I think this one is a little bit more formal. I would I, I mean, I would dress up to actually wear this one. This one does not scream. So if you're going on uh, like dinner, something like that, if you're going for a dinner out, something a little bit more formal, some event at night, this one will be a nice one for you. Let's go for the performance rating. For projection, I will give this one a 7. It does not project that much. It's gonna be there, but it does not like scream as I said, but it's the perfect levels. Like it's like right there, 7 is like perfect. So I would give 7 for projection. Siage, I'm gonna give this one a 9, 9.5 because the siage of this perfume it's just amazing, like sometimes you catch some sniff like in the air and you feel like wow. For me the sillage of this perfume and the scent itself are the top qualities of this specific fragrance. Longevity, incredibly this perfume will be with you for over 10 hours for sure. I would even say 12 sometimes, seriously. I wore this fragrance at least 3 times in a row and they were performing super well. I applied it like before going to work, like maybe 7, 8 a.m. And when I got back home, it was like over 7 and the fragrance was still there. I was super surprised. This fragrance was one of the very first long lasting fragrances that I got in my collection. I wear it like occasionally, not that much because I kind of like to save this one for special occasions. But I wore Sycamore way more than this one because this one needs a specific occasion. Sycamore is more like ah, casually. So for longevity, I'm gonna give it a nine as well. Super good longevity. 
Even though it's a skin scent, it's still there and you smell it. That's the most important thing. You smell it. It's gonna be there. You don't actually you don't actually need to dig your nose on your hand, on your skin, so you can actually feel it. No. The scent will come like, oh, I'm here. Ooh, you know? This is one of the best characteristics of a scent that I am looking for when I buy my perfumes. And this one covers pretty much all the spots. If you don't know Coromandel, I wouldn't say it's a must-have because some people may think it's a little bit more feminine. If you are a man, like sometimes you're not gonna be like comfortable wearing this one. But if you are a collector, I don't actually think you don't know this one. You probably know Coromandel. This one is a masterpiece. Pretty sure masterpiece. If I do a masterpiece list, like super high chances of this one being over there. This perfume is not that versatile because I prefer to wear this one like in special occasions, but you can wear it like pretty much every day. You can wear it in a lot of occasions. You can wear during summer nights, fall and spring. I just don't recommend on winter, so versatility, I, I have to give it a eight and a half because you can wear pretty much uh, like all seasons, excluding winter. So that's it guys, I hope you guys liked it. So if you disagree, if you agree, let me know in the comments, like give me some feedback, I would love to know your thoughts. So that's it for today guys, I hope you like it. I will see you in the next video, bye bye.